check it out. San Francisco's biggest mall is now currently closed. Now, the location of the mall isn't even in that bad of an area. It's fairly close to downtown, but it's also a slightly close to like the Tenderloin District over here. But here's the thing, right? It's still a pretty decent mall. They used to have very good business. And before the pandemic, their vacancy rates were only like 3 to 10%. It really wasn't that bad. And Westview has also said that their vacancies in the nation is also in the single digits. It's very low. But San Francisco, now the vacancies are 50%. And guess what Westfield did, guys? They straight up shut down San Francisco's biggest mall. Okay, the Bloomingdale's is gone. You know, the polo stores are gone. The luxury stores are gone. I mean, look at the streets of San Francisco. This is supposed to be a very vibrant place, but a lot of people are just simply leaving and they're never coming back. And even though this was taken back in, you know, April 2022, you saw less people, right? And this time it's taken June 2023 and you're already seeing massive vacant storefronts. I mean, these are luxury corner storefronts. And as you go down the street in some of San Francisco's most populated areas, stores are closing at some of the fastest pace ever. Okay, the Old Navy has left. The Levi, I think it has pretty much left as well. And you got Whole Foods leaving, all that crazy stuff. And walking away, guys, San Francisco Mall is now handed back to the bank as the exodus continues. Now, one of the reasons why so many property owners are opting in for foreclosure or bankruptcy is pretty simple, right? The building itself is worth so much less than the mortgage they took out. So Westfield earlier this month stopped making payments on a $558 million loan and they pretty much gave it back to the bank. They're like, you could take it. We don't want it. And the bank doesn't want this property either. This is like a junk property. The maintenance is super high. The HOA is super high. And we're going to also show you the amount of homelessness happening around the mall as well. Now, like I said before in the video, it was mostly concentrated in the Tenderloin district. Now, San Francisco has always been kind of this really gross place, but once again, it was mostly centralized in this small area, right? It didn't really go outside of this area. In fact, it was more concentrated in like the inner streets of the Tenderloin district than anything else. And everything be like outside of it was like fine. And it was like that for several decades. And of course the mall is a little bit outside. You also have some hotels outside as well. But now it's spreading and it's spreading so much that even Twitter HQ has homeless people in open air drug markets right next to it. And that's crazy. And Elon just recently branded Twitter to X. Now, if you check out some videos of Westfield, you're going to be seeing the logos gone and also the homelessness explode. So if you look at some of the details like this one, this is a individual right in front of Westfield Mall. This is sad, okay? The city doesn't care, right? I mean, just have random people just sleeping. You know, some of them are high on drugs. A lot of them are in need. And this is something that you don't see unless it's like a third world country. And even some third world countries aren't like this, guys. Like, a lot of you guys say that blah 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 third world country but remember third world country some of them the streets are really not that bad okay at least there's no drugs or people pooping or you know urinating everywhere and like i said before the city doesn't care the city honestly should just do one simple thing clean up the homelessness clean up the drugs clean up the crime and be very tough and then when companies come back you tax those companies and then you help the homeless people the people who are addicted, and then you open shelters and stuff like that. Well, San Francisco, at this point, they don't really care at all. Small business owners are so tired. Small business owners are very scared. And just big corporates are also pretty scared as well. If there's a tent in front of your establishment, you're going to get less sales, and good luck trying to move the tent. The city won't help you at all. Call 911, call 311, call the city council. It doesn't work. They don't care. People are so mad at this, right? And the city doesn't care about the homelessness either. They don't care about the crime either. They don't care about the drugs either. I have no clue how they operate here. Check this out. This is behind the Westfield Mall. Someone took this. And like I said before, you know, it's a pretty rough place. Like, this mall is supposed to be like the place in San Francisco where everyone hangs out. It's supposed to be like a pretty big tourist location. But with so many tourists just not going to San Francisco, you kind of see why, right? There's just homelessness everywhere and people high on drugs everywhere. I mean, 
San Francisco is really, really screwed up at this point. And you constantly see these videos, right? And people are really mad too because this is actually happening into their city. And Westfield, you know, their logo's disappearing. And guys, it's not just Westfield leaving. We also got another massive, you know, hotel chain, Park Hotels and Resorts. These guys are leaving as well. And with those guys leaving, it's probably their biggest hotel. It's 3,000 rooms. They defaulted on nearly a billion dollars of loans. They're done, right? Now, one of the craziest things is Elon Musk is refusing to leave Twitter in San Francisco to other places. That's kind of weird because I've always thought Elon really wanted to get out of San Francisco. But for some reason, after they put up this X, Elon really wanted to stay. Honestly, Elon at this point is just a massive troll. I think he's just messing around with a lot of people. He really doesn't like San Francisco. In fact, he's currently being sued for millions of dollars because he refused to pay rent and taxes for the city. And I get the reason why, right? You pay that money and nothing really gets done. So Elon was actually making a statement. But now he's saying that San Francisco is like a great place, vibrant place, and Twitter will stay there despite getting offers from several other cities. And that is wild. I think the only reason why he wants Twitter to stay in San Francisco is I guess to make a statement, okay? I mean, this X is honestly pretty crazy big for a company. And in fact, San Francisco is even asking them to take this down and just put up a small sign on the side like where Twitter used to be. And by the way, this app here in April, the city of San Francisco created an app asking for the public's help on locating the rare incidences of human feces. Guys, this is not rare. This is like ultra common. So common that even on the bridge, what? Even on these little islands, you find poop. I mean, San Francisco is just literally covered in poop, guys. This is crazy. It was canceled 11 days later. Guys, when a city gets this bad, okay, you would think that the officials will probably be like, oh, okay, I guess we should probably do something about it, but not. They shut the app down and pretended nothing happened. What the heck? I mean, I, usually cities, when they see something like this, they act on it and they start cleaning out the streets and they start fixing stuff. But San Francisco, for some reason, their laws are so lax that they can't really do anything. And this is why so many people are leaving. And then you have like probably car theft. This is insane. I mean, all sorts of crazy things are happening in San Francisco. Things that you've never even seen before. Cars jumping off staircases, stairways, you know, flying around. Stolen vehicles, car theft everywhere. I mean, this is a city that I've never really seen before. A lot of Chinese tourists all say one thing, that the homelessness in a tier one city like San Francisco where tech is related is crazy. A lot of Chinese tourists also say that the streets of San Francisco is probably one of the dirtiest they've ever seen. And people say, oh, you know, Vietnam and Thailand and Indonesia are, you know, countries there are not as good as American cities in America life. Not really. At least their streets don't have poop, urine, and literally people shooting with drugs in the middle of the street everywhere. Only San Francisco, guys. Okay? And we gotta really change this. San Francisco has been like this for decades. You know, open-air drug markets. But people are willing to put up with it because of the immense tech in it and the immense wealth. But now, with remote working being so popular, people are not willing to put up with it. Small business owners are leaving. You know, big tech is leaving. Salesforce is cutting down their office space. Their biggest employer in the city. Uber is leaving. Lyft is leaving. Meta is leaving. They're all cutting down space. Tech conferences are being moved to Denver. You get the idea. It is a bad time for San Francisco. And will they change? Probably not. But they have to. It's getting to the point where it's a little bit too late.